Hey everyone, it's Vinny and we're back again with Lost Constellation. So this is part two. Enjoy! <laughs> so I guess we'll get started. Hey, it's my snowman! Can I talk to you? How's it going? What is going on? What is going on? Oh, okay, never mind. She does not understand me. I should just keep moving. So I think from the last part, this is my other snowman. Who are you? I mean, are you a ghost? I don't know. Who were you before? I was a fortune teller and a medium. A real one? Real enough. See, I found this thing in a tree, and then I knew I had to build you here somehow. In seance scenes, we would often hold an object of importance to the deceased. Did it work? Well enough. As for why here, well, sometimes a grave is the best place to contact the dead, I guess. Oh god, is this your grave? Oh my god, not mine. It appears to be someone's final resting place. Who buries people way out here? I guess, oh, snow. Well, that's not morbid at all. Oh, what is that? Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. We found it. Okay, and then we need something else as well. There should be another item right there. Uh, can I go anywhere else? What did you say about my ghost? Those that die here stay. The ghost lay frozen until disturbed. All that's left of them are lumps in the snow and the things they broke with them. Gathering frost. Oh, what those ghosts could tell us in these hard times. Can I have a drink of something? No, oh. Well. <laughs> that's not nice! He just kicked me out. Well, I guess I just entered without permission either, but I, still. Oh, what is this? Hey, skeleton. Can I not do anything? up here. This is your mouth. You have... This is your hair. Your little antlers. to 
to call the guy out now. Hello. Will you let me over now? Hello, traveler. Travelers, we seek an audience of the forest god. I am God Tender Brown. Who are you now? I'm Empress Ashran. This is my herald. Honk. And my imperial advisor, Clancy. Arf. Is that a Glunden horn? Glunden, 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 Glunden horn. Your body god is a dog? How do I know if it's Glunden horn? Um, yes, and Clancy is excellent at his job. Yes. How does this relationship work? Well, it just does. He is highly intuitive. Arf. No, he barks once for yes and twice for no. Oh, ask him a question. Um, Clancy, will God Tender Brown allow us passage? Yes. Hey, look. Amazing. Arf, arf. What does this mean? He's just excited. That is understandable. Are you excited to meet the forest guard, God Clancy? Arf, arf. Oh, wait, that was twice for no, right? Oh, no. Arf, arf. I think that makes it a double negative. He's not not excited to meet the forest god? Then I'm not 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 then I am not 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 letting you pass. So that's a triple. No, I meant not 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 quit. Yeah, okay, so you're letting us. Yes. Can we pass? Your willingness to seek counsel among even beasts says volumes about your wisdom and devotion to your people. You may pass. Finally! Thank you, God Tender. Yay! Cross onto the holy mountain. Me, 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 me. I'm here. Wait. Yes? I'm truly sorry, but you cannot see the forest god this longest night. Why not? I, uh, we have already come so far for an audience. The truth is, and you must keep this a secret, but... The forest god is sick. They are old and dying and they cannot see you. It might upset them, and we can't risk that. Sick, uh, dying. How can a god be dying? I do not pretend to know the ways of such things. If only I knew what was happening. We god tenders are tossed with caring for the forest god. But this, this death we have never seen its like. Not in the 700 years of records kept since Saint Sil began, ten began tending god. Oh no. We thought when the peace came, all would be well. The peace? Yeah, what peace? But centuries of conflict with her have weakened them. Okay. And not long after, they became ill. Her. Do you mean the hunter? Do not say her name here. Oh, sorry. My heart is broken. My god is dying. My Well, I'm dying to meet the god. I don't know what my life would be without them. I'm sorry, god tender. There is nothing you can do, Empress. An Empress is a crocodile, that's interesting. As representative of the forest throne, I say that no power of the forest guard, God, shall bar your way this longest night. As for her, you are at her at the mercy of the most dangerous creature in the forest. Thank you, God Tender Brown. Go and take a blessing with you. Okay. Where am I supposed to take a blessing? Am I supposed to go this way? Whoa, what is this? Hello. Ho oh, there, traveler. Hello, hello. Oh, hmm. What is your business here tonight? I am going to the frozen lake or not much you. I'm going to the frozen lake. Well, that's a coincidence. So are we. Blessed meeting. Do you know the way through the woods? We surely do. We are bound for an audience with the forest god. And after that, we have an arm and... We have an arm and fire to light it. An arm. What did you say you were going to set on fire? What did you say you were going to set on fire? The arm of a dead criminal. Bruh. Donated. Who? Who donated that? Uh, O. Stevenson. Yeah, O. Stevenson. And you're going to set it on fire? Yes. And it will light the way to the Hunter's Hollows. Ugh, this forest. Well, best of luck. 
Best of luck to everyone. Even you, we have enough luck to go around. Well, thank you, I guess. I'll keep going. Oh, what is this? Freaking, why is it turning dark? Why? Why is it turning dark? This is a great story now. Yeah, oh, you like the spooky stuff, huh? I suppose. You know, I do. I hate the other stuff. Well, the other stuff is important too. Hanging there. Okay, I guess. What is this? Ooh, we're somewhere new. Who's that walking on my porch? It's me! Hello? Oh girl, it's all over now. What do you mean it's all over now? Is this cool? Um, there are old bodies in the north where the ground never thaws. Frozen in the dirt and ice for millennia. In some of them, there is a sickness against which we are no longer strong. Someday the earth will warm and the ice will melt. And that sickness will finish the work on us. That began when we were first born. Okay. Kid, will you please stop that honking? I'm not honking! Who's honk? Oh, that kid. Nope. Okay. Fine, kid. Fine. I'm going to leave you where they'll never find you. That is morbid. Um, I need to get to the frozen lake. When you're out there tonight, freezing, will you look for my ring? Once something's down in the brambles, I can never see it. I found your ring last week. Oh, so you did. It's my second most prized possession. I keep the most prized in a shine. So precious is it to me. And so painful, we have to keep the precious and painful close. I feel like we keep getting off track here. Yeah, sniff sniff. I can smell the forest god's blessing on you. If you knew anything, you'd wash until it came off with your skin. When you leave, you're going down into the brambles like all the others. When I have to go outside to fix the weather. Because the weather vane got knocked around again. It's a really stupid system you have going there. When I got out to do that, I'll look out on the hollow and nothing will be stirring. And that will be what happened to you. Jesus. Why don't you just kill me now then don't say that? Because of that smell. Oh, so I'm being protected by the forest gods. Alright then. Uh, is there anything I can do 
through here? I guess not. Can I leave? Goodbye! And we continue on our journey. Some of that weird snow is way up in the trees. Need a good strong wind. Ha ha ha, just need to control the wind is all simple. How? How the hell do you control the wind? I don't know what to do with that. How do I control the wind? Nobody taught me that. Is there something I can use or take? into your house creepy person what are you anyway i'm an astronomer former princess oh honey all of those stars in your head they will go out like candles tonight what are you the forest god isn't really a god i am twice their size I am twice as real. So what are you? Honestly, whoever you are, even you're twice as real as they are. Adina, Adina Astra. A ridiculous name you named yourself, I can tell. Just the last part. Now, what would make a little girl chance... Oh, sorry. Now, what would make a little girl change her last name? Nothing you'd understand. You don't know a thing about it. I came from somewhere. As said the woman before me. What woman? And we found the cabin and I fed the oven. With the woman? And we survived. And then I survived. And the quarrel with the forest guard went on for centuries. Until it ended quite recently. Well, shut it, kid. No, let me listen to the kid. I swear, if I wasn't physically present in here, she'd talk about anything. But I want to know what the kid says. Are you a witch? What is a witch? You mean the woman in the woods? A man in the woods is a hermit or a woodsman or a huntsman. They didn't have a name for women who weren't where they should be. So they stole a name they feared and hated and pressed it onto us. Onto you. The world they use for girls like me is kidnapped. Why is this so messed up? This one every day, I swear. Won't do chores, back sass, sass mouth, why not send her back where she came from? That is the one question to which I have no answer. So why keep her if you're so annoyed with her? We're done talking. I'm sorry, Dina Astra. I know you wanted to live, but I've taken that future from you. And it's mine now. And you can't take it back. Oh, what? What is that? What happened? All right, um, I cannot go back in there. Can I take this? No, some of it, yeah, I need a good strong wind. Wait, what am I supposed to do? I am lost! Adina Astra is lost! And I can't go back in the house. Can I go back, back? What am I missing? Oh! Well, I picked up snow. No, I'll give you like my snow. There we go. Can I, can I throw it at the house? Oh! Oh! Down you go, oh my god! Holy shit! Ugh. I'm not going to die here tonight. Hell no, yeah I'm not. I'm just not. I need to see what's in the hollow. 
I need to get into that house. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Oh, okay. Let's roll this. Let's build a snowman. Go. I need something special for this. Oh god, I have to get back into that house. This is the worst longest night ever. I thought I have something. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I need something for this. I need to get back in there. Let me in. Dance Squirrels won't take a break. North Wind, Black Wind, Wolf in the Dark. Ugh, this weather never behaves. Uh huh. Gotta say the whole damn thing every time. Far in the north, I have discovered your secret name. Right. I have buried it deep in the earth and upon it built a house. Okay. You must obey this house. Now blow west. Ooh, I changed the direction of the wind. Okay, that's done. Accepted, you're facing the friend of most men. Oh, whoops, I need to run away. I'm sorry if I that weather thing. Yes, finally. North and black. Yay, at this. Okay, go. time is of the essence. Go, 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 go. What? No, no. Cough, cough, cough. No, why? What? Oh, what is that? Oh no, is that the dead? The other one that she was living on? What is this? Oh, oh god, no. Girl, what have you done? 
You you watched it happen? You watched It wasn't me, it was this place. It was the oven. It was what you became. I didn't get to choose what happened to me. I was so cold, I was so afraid. I'm sorry, bunny. I had to survive and I did not. What is this? Who are you? Don't you dare speak, you waste of a girl. Well, stop being so mean to me. I was her twin. We fled into the woods, identical in all things, except one. When she pulled my body from the water, the only part of me she kept was the tattoo. Oh, you kept it? I've kept it close to me all down the centuries. I believe in some idea of you that is as long dead as I am now. But you survived. I... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for this. Get out! I'm sorry! I never meant to. Yeah, I really never did. I didn't know what I was doing. Yes, Ming? What is this story about? What do you want it to be about? If I get to choose what it's about, it's not about anything. Huh, that's quite a statement. I'm really smart. Okay. <laughs> that confidence! Well, you came up with that plan to rob banks. Oh my god. So clearly you're onto something. I don't know if that's a good thing and thing you should be proud about. I want to know what this is about. Yeah, me too. I think you have to figure that out on your own. I don't like that. Here we go. <sighs> Where will this take me to? What will happen to me? This is so weird and scary. This is the longest night. Can I come find you again? Hello. You're a frog! Why, well, hello! Nice of you to stop by. There are frozen dead people all over the woods. I've talked to half a dozen of them tonight alone. Either no one takes you up on this coffin business, or you never follow through. So which is it? Huh? You talk to ghosts? Yeah, a whole bunch. I think you got lost in cold and started talking to the snow. No, I've been all the way from the forest god's mountain to the hunter's hollow, for God's sake. And yet here you are, back at my cabin, not more than an hour after you lost left. Letting the heat out and the cold in. Busy night for you, eh? Oh, go to hell! Hell's warm at least. Oh, Jesus, good night. Ah, that guy doesn't like me and I don't like that guy either. Are you gone already, Sticky? I'm sorry, Sticky. Ooh, this is a new place. Kitty, hey cat, figured I'd see you here. You figured right. You figured wrong. How's that? I didn't die in there. So you didn't. But then again, I've never died in there either. So pardon me if I'm not overly impressed you did it once. You are such an ass. You certainly caused a lot of trouble tonight. I didn't cause that much trouble. I mean, I guess I did. I didn't mean to, just passing through. Isn't that always the way? Um, so who are you really? Pardon? You some magical cat, cat god, cat wizard, something? I'm just a cat, but you can speak. I live near the woods. I like shiny things. I like shiny things too. And I listen. To what? <sighs> Bless me. Um, I'm an astronomer. I'm here because there's something missing in the sky, and this is where I'll find it. Are you sure? At this point, I'm so exhausted and cold that I can't afford to not be sure. That's either very sad or very beautiful. It's very true. I'm freezing. I need to get going. The hunter, her child, the forest god, those aren't your business. I know. Leave all of that here. You are in their forest. I'm an astronomer. I will fight for it. It may be their forest, but it's under my sky. Haha. <laughs> I bet that sounded great in your head. It sounded great when I said it, ass cat. <laughs> Goodbye, Adina, the astronomer. Good luck. I thought you told me not to, but you're still wishing me luck. Goodbye, cat. Happy longest night. Alright. Um... A 
promises and promises. Oh my, who is that? How is home? Same as ever, colder now, of course. The sheep shut down the Fifth Street Bridge again on longest night eve. Haha. <laughs> the farmers were there all day trying to pull them off. Have they figured out why they keep doing that? No one has a clue. Hmm. I know you can't stay long. I can't, so ask. Okay, did you find the ghost star? I did, my first night dead. It's there. Is that what I've been looking for all this time? Oh my god. Something like that. Will you remember where that is? Yes. I found it! It's funny. What's funny? What is? It's always been there. I just had no way of seeing it. You still can't. Not really. But you can chart where it is. That's something at least. Wow. I feel like just a few feet away. There's this thing, bigger than I can think about. Burning away, exploding. And between us is this sheet of black. And when I think about it, I feel like I'm going to overflow. I think about this a lot these days. We devote ourselves to something we barely understand. Something we can never touch. We give it a name and we give ourselves a name for doing so. All of it creates this connection. And that connection that becomes a thing we can't touch. You appreciate those connections even more after you've died. Is he gonna kill me? I'm gonna miss you all over again now. Well, on the bright side, you've got a star out of it. That's something at least. Ha 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 ha. Pretty amazing to be something at least. Goodbye. Both astronomers. The end. What constellation was it? No one knows. It's lost to history. I don't know what that is either. Did this really happen? Does it matter if it really happened? I guess not. Why does it sound like Harry Potter at the end of it? I think it does. Well, we'll never know. But hearing it happened to you, and that's something. Something, something, something. <laughs> I want to find that constellation. Don't go do it, May. Go outside some night and find it. And tell me where it is, okay? Uh, you look tuckered out, kid. I am. I'll leave you to it. Sweet dreams, kiddo. Sweet dreams, grandpa. Right? You're my grandpa, right? Off the bed, off the bed. And I guess that is the end of it. Um, guys for staying until the very end if you did. Um, I hope you enjoyed this game. It's The scenery is amazing. The music, it's nice. Um, it's a pretty short game so feel free to go play it. I'll leave the creator of the game down in the description box below. And thank you guys again for staying. Hey and look at all my snowmen! And there's me! But yeah anyways, um, this is where I'll end this episode so I'll see you guys next time.